How's it going everyone? So today we're doing some more pike fishing and we're also doing a little fly tying segment included. You guys seem to really enjoy that so I figure I'll do a little tying segment for you guys real quick. So the fly we're going to be tying is a variation of the flash tail deceiver. It's a super easy and simple pattern to tie and it's caught a lot of fish for me over the years. Uh, I've been using a lot of deceiver patterns, variations of deceiver patterns. Um, they're super durable and easy to tie overall so very good to look into if you're a beginner tire. But with that being said, if you guys need any fly tying material for yourself, I will leave a link down below where you can order online with free shipping and the code for 20% off all your fly tying material. Um, so it really helps you out, helps the small fly shops out, small business in general. Um, they all need your help during this crazy pandemic. So order online whenever you're able to, help them out. Um, but with that being said though, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Let's get right into it. Yep, he's right here. He's right here. He's gonna grab it. Really? Yep. Oh, that was so cool. That was so cool. Oh, I turned the GoPro on in just enough time. 
Oh my gosh. That was so cool. Yup, Anthony scared a fish out of there. He was, yup, he snagged up in the tree. He scared the fish out. He said he saw a big swirl. And that was so funny. And I saw a fish come up and follow my fly. Basically, it came out from under the tree and followed my fly up while I was just standing here. And I jerked a few times and he grabbed it. That is pretty cool. Nice little maybe 28 inch pike. Good looking fish to start the day off. Nice. Smoked that little fly. Gotta love it. Good thing I was dangling my fly in the water. Yeah, dude, that was sweet. What a great way to start off the trip. Lots of excitement there. Hopefully it just keeps getting better. Dude, that is so crazy. He, he must have spooked right out towards you, dude. Yep. I didn't see if it was a pike or not, but I knew for sure something big swam out from under the log. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Oh, 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 come on, grab it, grab it. Look like it could have been a nice fish. Yeah, it like he, like, he didn't even like actually grab it, he just went for it and turned around right away. Yeah, hopefully he comes back for it here. Slow it down a little bit for him. Right behind that stump there. Some slow, slow dark water by the stump. It's right where you're sitting, right where you should be sitting. Come on. Oh, yep, there we go. That's, whoa, he shot like crazy. Not a bad little fish there. We haven't been seeing a ton of fish, but you know, hey, I'll take it. Super good action, wow. Yeah, had a little runs from him, cold water pike. Digging it. Nice. Spunky little dude for sure. Love seeing that. Good, healthy, thick fish on that little single hook deceiver. Yeah, choked it. That's awesome. Good looking fish, nothing very big, but hey, I'll take it. Oh, there he goes. Later, dude. Well, as I think I mentioned, that fish came right off the little stump in some slow, dark water. And whenever I'm fishing these rivers for pike, I'm always looking for that slower water. Any kind of deeper, darker water also is really good. Or just finding structure like that stump, for example, any kind of root system, uh, logs in the water, like any kind of, basically any kind of structure, seaweed, whatever it may be, those pike will kind of hold that, hold around there and use that as ambush points to, you know, attack smaller bait fish and things like that. So whenever you're fishing these small rivers, you know, there's not a lot of areas for these pike to hide. So it's really just, you know, important to find those small little key areas, like small, just little pockets of slow water and throw your flyer or your lure in there and oftentimes that's where we're gonna find this pike so let's keep moving hopefully find some more fish and uh, maybe get some real big ones Oh, got that. Did, did you see it? Oh my God, that was super cool. Really, bro? Just nice, thick, healthy fish. Oh my god, dude. Not going my way. Nice. Got him. Sweet. Okay, quick look at it. We didn't get too much on the fight there, but great looking pike, probably in that 31 inch range. I'll hold him up real quick. Oh, oh, sorry. No problem. There, goes. there she goes. Ready nice and back. healthy. Awesome. Heck yeah, dude. Let's get some more. Sir. 
Well, that's gonna be a wrap for the video and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it was a pretty slow day overall. I mean, we only got like four or five fish total, which isn't very good. Um, but, you know, sometimes that's how it goes. I was just happy to be out there early in the season like this because before, uh, like normal years, you're not able to wade the rivers until like June usually. So, either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Do not forget to check out the link down below for all your fly tying materials. Um, with that being said, though, hopefully I'll be getting a lot more pike videos out coming soon. And so, thank you so much for watching. And, of course, I will catch you next time. Cleo, hey, come here. Cleo. Cleo. What a good girl. Good girl, Cleo. Good girl.